You guys. I'm literally painting my nails while trying to do this intro. Ah! This will be the fastest manicure of my life. I am using P2. I believe it's under five bucks. We'll keep with the theme. How pretty is that? It kind of dries down even cooler. Like once this dries, it just looks gritty and almost matte. And I'm telling you, it is the fastest manicure ever to do something textured. Oh my gosh, I have wet nails now and I can't like do the hair and like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going through the very, very best under $5. So nothing here is gonna be above five bucks and that is hard to do. Along the way of making videos every year, it gets more challenging to bring you guys these videos because prices increase and drugstore pricing is out of control. Like you can go in there and get a $25 foundation. Like a lot has changed, but there are still products from brands that I love. And then there are products from brands that keep it on the lower end that are really phenomenal. And I love bringing you guys a good hit list. So that is what we are doing today. So let's get started with some lip items. I have mentioned these before, but I thought I would mention them again because I just decluttered the crap out of my lipstick drawers as a whole. I literally went from having 10 drawers to five. And that includes my lip liners, liquid lips, lip toppers, drugstore lipsticks, glosses, everything. So I got rid of half of it. I did not film that, but I will do like a collection kind of walkthrough if you guys want me to do that. Something that I noticed as I was being super harsh with what I wanted to keep and let go of was every time I ran into Wet n Wild, whether it was their liquid cat suit or this one right here, which is the gloss version. It is the high shine liquid lipstick. I just could not get rid of it. You know, there were some shades that just weren't for me that I got rid of, but ugh, the formula on this is so nice. They are gorgeous, easy to apply. I'm wearing the shade Send Nudes right now. I love this one with just a darker lip liner underneath. So look right here, these are just stunning. They're beautiful. I'm wearing this one right here, Send Nudes. I also have the shade Wine is the Answer. I also have Chic got real, God, those names, oh my gosh. Okay, so, but these will just completely cover the lip and saturate it in color, but it won't be gloppy, messy, too heavy, too thick. The tones of the colors are just right. The doe foot applicator has that nice divot in it. I love this product through and through and for less than the price of a Starbucks, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Also, you guys, I wanna remind you, like a broken freaking record to look for a sale. Wet n Wild is always on sale and a lot of people are like, yeah, that doesn't Really matter like it's like four dollars whatever but if you just go online really quickly and do a quick search you'll find that maybe if you go to CVS instead of Rite Aid or whatever one store will be having 40% off or a reward something like that always good to keep in mind all right so I want to put some eyeshadow on and the reason that I waited to show is because I just like to reinforce sometimes that you don't need this whole big thing to get a beautiful eye look. So what I'm gonna do is use a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. Which one do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna do Birthday Girl. It's like this really beautiful bronze with little silver micro glitter in here and it is so gorgeous. And what I like to do is literally just swipe on the lid And that's it. It's literally my 30 second eye look. Well, maybe a minute because we still need uh, some good eyeliner, but I don't like to overcomplicate things all of the time. You can literally find a pretty shadow that is flattering for your skin tone that you think is really pretty. Use your fingertips, not even a brush, whap, whap, some mascara, done. And it feels good. You know, I always feel better even if I do like a very simple five minute makeup routine. Like even in the days when I am at home in my sweatpants and I'm doing nothing and like, you guys know, we all know, we've all been there, okay? You wake up, you don't shower, you're on your phone for a while, you're kind of just around the house doing whatever and you feel gross. Like I always feel gross and those days totally happen. But when I take a time out for 10 minutes to hop in the shower, maybe put on some perfume that makes me feel cute and I do five minutes of makeup, even if I'm going nowhere for whatever reason, it just makes my mood go 
like this. That's my Tati message for today. You guys know I can't resist. I always have to like talk about something like that, you know? I wanna chat with you guys about Essence Mascaras. This one right here has been in my top five forever. The Lash Volume Extension. No, that's not what it's called, hello. Do you know how to read Tati? Volume Stylist. 18 hour Lash Extension Mascara with lengthening fibers. This is magical. It's $2.99. $2.99 for mascara that will make your lashes look so, so, so good. And the reason that I was reminded of this one is because I was recently sent this Princess, uh, Lash Princess, False Lash Effect Mascara. And I kind of got back into trying Essence mascaras and I'm like, man, they have so many different mascaras and they are all under $5. So I kind of wanted to rattle off a little bit of a hit list for you guys. I love the Lash Princess. It comes in waterproof and regular. This one right here, the purple tube, will forever be just my personal favorite. But then I do also like this Eye Extreme Volumizing Mascara because the brush is just a little bit more like the Dior Show brush, like it's that fatter brush. If you just quickly want to get your lashes done, I would say this is the one to go with. Let's use this today. Cause we're like all about the fast makeup. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm going through a season, you guys, where like my sister is still in town and I am screaming and laughing with those babies and like chasing them around the house. And I'm on the phone a lot. And I just, I feel like I'm talking so much that like I'm damaging my vocal cords. I don't know, do you ever have that happen where you're like, I don't know, I don't know what that was. But like, I'm talking so much lately and then I sit down here and I talk to you guys for like, you know, a casual hour by myself. And I just feel like my voice is weird. Why? I need some tea. If I came out with a brand of teas and called them Tatis, <laughs> would you guys buy it? Okay, I'm just gonna stop and just continue with the lashes. I mean, is it just me or is this like shockingly good? Like it is so good. Their mascaras, whatever they've done, I think it's the best thing that they make from Essence, to be honest. The other thing is it's so nice and good for layering up. This particular one is super fluffy in texture. And if you go back in throughout the day, it's very, very forgiving to allow you to put on more. Not all mascaras are like that. And I have had that problem sometimes where like halfway through the day, you're like, oh, my lashes look kind of sad and they're drooping just a little bit. And you go to put on more and all of a sudden you're like, <gasps> and you're like tarantula. Like it just kind of like sticks all together and it looks terrible. This does not do that. It's so good. And then if you really want to be extra like me, if you want to splurge, you want to do two mascaras and not just one, you can go on top with the fiber mascara and just kind of oomph them up. So nice, right? I will share with you another super affordable palette situation. This is from City Color. They have Birds of Paradise and Lotus. And I have talked in an under five video about their shadows before. They're chunky as all get out. But I did want to bring these up because if you are a babe on a budget and you just need like some good creamy, metallics and you don't mind that the texture will take you a little bit of blending they're really nice like they're super super nice i think the individuals might be a little bit better i used to use those a lot i ended up getting rid of most of them in a declutter just because i was not reaching for them not because they're bad but just because i was just not reaching for them but like really pretty right really solid I like these quite a bit. And also I wanted to mention that Scandalize from Rimmel. I've been using these liners for years. They have one right now that looks so similar to an Anastasia, like kind of a golden eye pencil. Really, really good for just brightening up the inner section of your eyes. Now you don't have to just go with the metallic. They do have black. They have a beautiful teal one that is like gorgeous. They have espresso brown. So liners from Rimmel, as far as something that you would put in this region right here that will not 
smudge everywhere, especially in hot weather, is so nice. Like these ones are really, really great. Even their chubbier sticks are really phenomenal. Okay, you guys, all of you are telling me to review the e.l.f. Jelly Collection. I might continue including some of these items in an upcoming new at the drugstore. I didn't wanna do a dedicated, just because so many of the items are skincare and I, quite frankly, am really good on skincare and I'm so terrified to introduce new things like a cleanser, moisturizer, especially if I'm only gonna use it once. I really feel like with skincare, you need to try it for a while to be able to give a solid review unless you're just going through ingredients and texture. I did wanna tell you though that I think these guys for $5 are like the cutest thing ever. Now the color payoff is not great. You know, it's just not. It's not gonna turn your lips purple, but I mean, would you want it to? I don't think you'd want it to. These are just like a clear gloss that are really juicy, really high shine. They feel super nice. The packaging makes me happy. Comes in four colors and they're five bucks. This collection is super attractive, cute to look at. Sometimes you scroll through and you're like, boring, 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 average, seen it, done it, what? And then you're like, oh, kind of like, summertime Coca-Cola vibes, but jelly glossy and it's e.l.f. So really just aesthetically, I did really like that collection. I also wanna point out that I have new lashes that I am obsessing over. So I have really been into the double ups from Ardell and I have talked about these, but I'm also super, super loving almost all of the faux mink from Ardell. And I keep reaching for these over and over and over. And I think I'm just kind of in that zone where I like the more flexible, bendy lash bands versus the higher end lash bands tend to be a little bit more firm, which is great for like a full blown night out type of a look. But for the daytime, I just don't think you need that personally. And if you want something that's not like an Ardell 110, which really is like the most natural lash out there, if you want something that's still like flirty, fluffy, cute, like it's there, but not overwhelming, then I would really recommend you guys check out the faux mink from Ardell. They did it so nice where it is very fluffed out and it does look like a very expensive lash. I was gonna put these on, but honestly the Essence Mascara is doing such a good job that I'm like, I'm good. Like I feel cute just like this. So we're gonna keep it as is. All right, moving right along. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. One of my favorite foundations ever from Wet n Wild is, I don't think it's on sale, but I was kind of blown away. I was on Target on their app and I was looking at foundations and the photo focus from Wet n Wild right now is $249. Why? That seems like really inexpensive for a great foundation, right? I thought I would include that in this video. Okay, so next up, I wanna talk about the Catrice pigments. They have loose pigments. I have a little bit of a complaint with them because the top does not have a sifter. So if you open it up sideways, you're in danger. <laughs> if you're careful and you set it down and you open it up, just you know, screw the lid off, you're good. What I like is that these are not ultra shiny, super in your face metallic. Don't like the colorful ones so much because of that, but something like this, and I'll show you the shade. This is Pink Galaxy, is actually like an incredible, incredible highlighter. And it has the nicest, softest, most elegant glow, and it does not exaggerate texture. It's like a discreet highlight. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the ambient powders from Hourglass, but it's loose, it's colored, and it's intended as shadow. And these are called the Precious Pigments, and it's a loose eyeshadow that I like to use on my face. Um, I have one more item that I wanna share with you guys that I don't have in front of me, but while I was thinking in my head about the foundation and all of that, I also wanna say that I did do a massive declutter on my concealers and I have gotten even pickier. I'm not gonna do another declutter video because I kinda of feel like it would just be the same thing with an update of like two new concealers. I just kinda of stay with like what I like, what I like, what I like. But I thought in this video I would give you a solid update that I am still thoroughly impressed with the e.l.f. camo concealer. I was actually DMing with a subscriber. She's like best, you know, under $10 concealer. And immediately that's where my brain went. And it's the one that I recommend most from the drugstore, as far as it being comparable to a Jeffree Star or Shape Tape. It has that type of texture. It has that type of wear time. And I really, really like that one. Okay, you guys, that's that. 
that was actually quite a bit of products for an under five. When I started playing this video, I was like, there's no way I'll even be able to come up with a list because makeup's so expensive right now. Anything that's good anyway. So I'm happy I was able to sit down and do this for you guys. Let me know in the comments what your favorite under five items are. If I haven't tried them on my channel, I want to know about them. So leave that in the comments below. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Whatever you are doing, I'm sending love. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave and ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I am here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'd love to hang out with you again. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah, my nails are dry. Yay! And see